All right, so there is, you see over here is the original GE uh, part number that came off the motor. Uh, GE motors are now been super taken over or what have you by uh, the, the Gentech. They do all the GE motor stuff. All right, motor just came in. That actually took, that was three days faster than what they said it was going to take, so I'm happy about that because ironically we have had rain all day today, so it's actually cooled off a little bit outside, which means that it will be a little cooler up in the attic. Uh, let's see here. Interesting, it says, please place this paper in the box with the moat motor to be returned. Claim number, reason why the motor is being removed. And so I'm, I'm gonna have to get a hold of them because I didn't see anything in their text where they said somehow this is gonna be a swap because this is supposed to be a brand new motor unless this is some kind of like, if this doesn't work, why it's coming back to them. A couple of rubber bushings of some kind. Let's see where those go. Free cardboard. Super heavy, it's probably close to 10 pounds, eight to 10 pounds, somewhere in there. Ground wire. Um, this looks like this is probably all of the, now here's your, the leads that are gonna go to the starter or the run capacitor or start capacitor, those two there. Orange and yellow. Jumper. And then all of our winding and probably speed wires that will be connected to the control circuit board up on the air handler. Brown wire down there. Um, some of the information on the motor there. OEM. MOT 18948. That's the right speed. Horsepower one third. Speed 1075 RPM. 115 volts AC because this is a furnace slash AC unit. I think if it's, ooh, don't quote me on this. I think if it's AC only, they're, they're 208 volts, but if you have furnace, then it's 115, but that could be complete ignorance. Amps five. Interesting amps yes, five, I'm pulling six on one upstairs right now. 15 microfarad capacitor. And they give some information on the connections in here. Kind of, <laughs> not really. Anyhow, there's the motor. Um, one pound of foam. Broken rubber band, freebie. All right, I guess it's time to get sweaty. You know what I might do? I might just take some readings off the windings just for the sake of science. All right, new motor here. We're gonna, when we get the old one out, we'll do the same readings back here, but I just wanna go through this. So the, the white wire is your line in, and then each of these other wires over here, your black, your yellow, your red, and your blue are all speed selections. So the black one is they're calling the high speed connection. That's 3.7 ohms. Blue Four point seven. Let's see if I can get that up where y'all can. Four point seven or so. Okay. That was medium high. Yellow, which is medium low. I guess it's going to be an ohm off. 
5.9, 5.8, and then the low speed, which is the red one, 8, let's say. No, nope. sorry. 7. 7 ohms. Okay, so that's what you've got between the line in and your different speed windings in the motor. All right, got the readings on the windings. So in theory, you could check yours, you know, if you weren't sure about from a, from a, a winding stand, like what the condition of your windings are. Something I actually hadn't thought of is, and I'm not sure how the unit works upstairs, whether it always runs on high. I've never heard mine run at any other speed other than just always on. And so I have to look upstairs. Uh, it, 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 because it's an older system, 2004, it may only have maybe high for cooling and then like maybe low for the furnace. You don't want to blow air too fast over your the furnace elements. You won't get any, <laughs> you just cool everything off. Um, won't get the air won't heat up properly so yeah we'll look at that when we get upstairs that's just a lot of blah 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 so good information on how you can check your motor out so let's uh, get up in the attic and get ripping things apart get some pictures take some notes where things are plugged into maybe some measurements because I know we got to be sure that this and the, the mounting shaft are on the squirrel cage, the blue, actual physical blower part of the air handler is in, a, in the right location. Yeah, let the fun begin. All right, a couple things real quick. And I promised you guys that we would check the windings on this sucker. And actually, you know, before I do that, let me just flip it around so you can see. This is what I have on the shaft. Probably almost a little over an eighth of an inch of movement on that shaft inside and out. Now the new motor had no movement. I have no way of being able to say, you know, no way of saying, well, what I'm seeing here was how this motor was made or not. I'm not a motor expert. I know that seems like a lot of play to me. It potentially could be something internal, but there doesn't feel like there's any mechanical binding. And I don't, I don't feel anything either, but let's get to these windings. Because we took the new the new motor windings and we'll do the same thing here we're going to start with line and let's get that let's get it on the right setting here and we'll start with black which i believe in the new motor was like 3.7 So we're at about three. And blue, where is my blue? Don't be shy, blue. Blue is four. And I think, whoops, I took my, my reference out there. So the only thing I can think of here, so on the black winding, which is the high speed setting for the fan, on the new motor, we were reading about 3.7 and we're reading three. 
I'm not a motor expert, but that could explain perhaps why there was a much larger current draw on the motor versus the 3.7. Um, without being able to go up, I don't have a, uh, an amp meter clamp to see what the current motor is drawing. Maybe I'll look into investing in one and do a part two in this at some point just to see you know, what's the current draw supposed to be. The motor's rated at 5.8. He told me it should be reading, it should be pulling one, like 1 1.2. Uh, the current motor I think is rated at the same thing, 5.8 or six, something like that. Very, very, very similar. So I have no way of being able to confirm that, but I probably should. And that would be a good, a good piece of information to add into everything that's going on, going on here. Is, you know, is a new motor pulling the same? It might be pulling a little bit less because obviously we do, there is a difference in the windings from a resistance standpoint and lower resistance is gonna be um, higher current flow. Maybe that plays into it. Anyhow, you know, we won't get into that. That's a little more complicated. Uh, trying to figure out, you know, what current drop potentially would be or you know based on single phase motor or pre-phase motor what have you a little more complicated than this little standard electrical circuit so anyhow those are some values to go with uh if um yeah if you got any questions drop those down below i hope you like what you have seen here that you learned something and it's helped you out in some way if you have let us know i'd appreciate that we need to hear nice to hear when when things you know help people out and if you got a better way of doing it or some suggestions, drop those down below too. I'm open to that. Not necessarily saying we've got the perfect way of doing it. We can all learn from each other. So give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. It would mean a lot to us. Thanks. Have a good one. Dutch out.